It was a cold morning in October 2017 when a desperate woman knocked anxiously at Holmes and Watson's home. Yes? Who are you? My name is Helen Stoner. I was living with my stepfather, Dr. Rimsley Royot, and my twin, Julia, in an old mansion in the third Moran, until one day there was a terrible tragedy. My sister died in a very strange way, and I need you to investigate her death. She died two years ago. And uh, we beg that you tell us every single detail. Please, madam, continue. Later night, my stepfather was about to sleep, and my sister and I started talking about a mysterious visit. Julia had heard it during the previous nights. After that, my sister went to her bedroom, and then was when I heard the whistle for the first time. I went to the corridor and found that my sister was about to faint, so I hurried and had her. Her last words were, Oh my God, Helen, it was the band, the speckle band. Do not worry anymore, my dearest. Watson and I would do impossible to solve such a mystery. Soon after that, Helen left the house and all the expectations she had on Sherlock solving her sister's death behind. Immediately after, Helen's stepfather knocked heavily on Holmes' house's door. I am Dr. Grimsby Roywood of Stoke Moran. Indeed, Doctor. Pray take a seat. I will do nothing of the kind. My stepdaughter... Would you like some money? Yes. Thank you. My stepdaughter has been here. I have traced her. What has she been saying to you? It is a bit cold for the time of the year. What has she been saying to you? I know you, you scoundrel. I have heard of you before. You are Holmes, the <laughs> meddler. You are Holmes, the basic body. Holmes, the Scotland Yard, junking office. Your conversation most entertaining. Please, when you go out, close the door. I will go when I have said my say. I am a dangerous man to fall full of. See that you keep yourself out of my grip. As soon as Dr. Royot left the room, Holmes and Watson decided to start their journey to Stoke Moran to investigate the unusual circumstances surrounding the death of Helen's sister. This is a very dark business. After such a demonstration from Dr. Grimsby Royot and Helen's worries about her twin's death, I strongly recommend to take the matter into our own hands. Helen receives Holmes and Watson in her house. Immediately, the two men make a good observation of everything in Rollot and Helen's bedrooms. What caught the two detectives' attention were a bed which was clamped to the floor, some ventilators that did not ventilate, and dummy bell ropes. The discovery of these strange objects made them come up with a plan of action for the forthcoming night. They decided to spend the night in Helen's bedroom so as to find more hints to solve the mysterious murder. During the night, the detectives receive Helen's signal to enter the room, but first they had through the ground facing a dangerous situation, the presence of a cheetah and a baboon which belonged to a particular collection of the lady's stepfather. The two men were witnesses of the wisdom that Julia had listened to some minutes before she died. The whistle came from the following door, the one from Dr. Royot's room. Dr. Royot! No, Watson, do not move. 
Roy Lord is beyond your help. Look, there. The snake. The speckled band. Finally, Helms and Watson discovered that the stepfather kept that particular animal with the purpose of killing his stepdaughters so as to benefit from the will.